Well, we're back with the old 1976 F-150 that we just recently purchased. And then you, as you can see from the last video, it took us three trips to get that thing home. Well, now it's time to start working out some of the problems that it has, namely the brakes. We've got to get some brakes on it if we plan on stopping it. Well, let's listen to the old Minute Man as he explains what the game plan is for us today. Good morning. Good morning. So what are we going to do right here? We're about to uh, do some... Uh, a little bit of work uh we know we want to get the brakes going this morning that's our top priority right right so what's our game plan tell us well we're gonna change the master cylinder we thinking we got a bad master cylinder we hope it ain't the booster but we're gonna uh we got us a new master cylinder we're gonna put on it and uh we're gonna uh, get them bled and see if it's gonna give us some brakes if not uh, we're gonna have to go in and check our wheel cylinders and we got some new brake shoes. Don't know if we'll need to put them on first or not, but we're gonna try the uh, master cylinder first. All right. And uh, we're gonna work ourselves around, you know. And uh, main thing is get the brakes up on it, and then we'll work on the fuel. So, I all guess. right. Well, let's get it going. With it. That's been one of our biggest problems. This old master cylinder right here. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, we're gonna take that master cylinder off and yeah. change it. We got a we got a brand new and not a rebuilt one, right? Is that right? What you, yeah, we did. We got it's in the one. back of my car there, and so let me go in and get that for us, and uh, we'll get started. Go ahead and take your screwdriver and take your top off there and uh, Fill it, fill your reservoir up. Fill them up, not all the way to the top, you know, three quarters away. Right. Well, I think you that's know. pretty good. We right? can leave the top. We don't have to put the top on. What we need to do is, uh, is when I compress the brakes down, and then when I get ready to let off on them, you need to take your fingers and seal the holes up on both of them right there. All right, you got your glove off. Yeah. Okay, right, I'm compressing down now. That ain't sounding good. All right, let off on them. All right. I'm fixing to mash it again. Daddy, uh, something's going on here. What's going on? When it, you're pressing this master cylinder's moving, I think I got it tight. All right, I'm gonna put my fingers back. Okay, put your fingers back on. All right. You ready? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Keep your fingers sealed up. All right. Okay. Take your fingers off. Check your bolts and see. Oh. Master no. cylinder's supposed to be tight. It is? No, it ain't that, and ain't tight. That likes about a quarter inch being pulled up. Here you go. Check the other side to make sure it's snug. How many times you ever done this before? Two or three or four or five. Six or seven. Did it ever get any easier to you? Yeah. All right, so let me get back to my little beating. Did, was there any fluid coming out? Any fluid? And I got any fluid coming out when I'm mashing that on first time. Uh, no. You mean, where at? Where, where are you talking about coming out at? Hang on. Oh, hey, you, 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 you push it, it's coming out. Okay, that's good. All right, put your finger on the hose. Well, hold on, let me get positioned. All right. All right. All right, I got it let off on it. Take your hands off. Okay. Let me ask you, did, uh, am I getting fluid out of both sides? No, just that one front. Okay. Let me know, let me know now when, uh, whenever it's coming out of both of them, okay? Okay. Oh, only the front. Okay. 
Put your fingers over. All right. If we can get that little cap, let's seal that front one off for no fluid to come out of here until we bleed the back. Well, the cap's in on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, that thing may not be meshing the back one. Uh, well, it should be though. It should be pushing both of them at the same time. Oh, here's the cap down there. Go ahead, if that front one's getting fluid, just go ahead and hook the front line up, son. Gotcha. Don't worry about the back one. Get this old motor cleaned up and pressure washed. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> like old Fred did, you know? Yeah, that's right. Huh. Uh, right. I got that one pretty tight on the front. Right, I'm going to go ahead and mash and uh, bleed until we get that back one. All right. All right, here I go. Oh, Daddy! Whoa, 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 whoa! So, ha, look here! I got something I want to show you. All right. Uh, this line's got a hole in it. Okay. Well, the, put the, your finger over the back. No, no, no. Uh, well, the front one. Front one's got a hole in yeah, it. Yeah, it shot fluid. That's how you're losing your fluid. Okay. Well, go ahead and take that line back off and just uh, hold it's, your. Uh, this ho over this the air conditioning hose. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Take take, take it off. Take that line back off and keep from dragging fluid back in. I mean, dragging air back in. We'll go out to you uh, fix that hole. We'll take care of it. That's how you've been losing your fluid. Yeah. You thought? Yeah, you... that's where the fluid was going. Out of that front one, there probably wasn't nothing wrong with that mattress. Oh, uh, can you get that line loose right there? It goes. It goes that portion of valve right there. It goes to the uh, back. The back side of the portion of valve. This one right here. Yeah, we done bought a new match, so now we're gonna keep it on there. There you go. Okay, now, right here. Come up here and fill it. All right, it. I'm gonna come fill it. Right there, let me show you where I'm going. I'm gonna look at my... Oh, that's, a, that's right there, a rusty place on it. Good little chunk, All right? Yep, we'd have to take that line and loosen and then pressurize it and see if it's leaking. I would dare say it is. Well, though, minute, man, he's nature called. So, you know, come to think of it, he goes bathroom quite a lot. He must be getting a lot of fiber in his diet. I don't know. And I guess we're gonna head back to his house. So we're going to uh, silver solder this line here. This line here. Got him, a, got him a hole in it right here. Two holes have been rubbing on this high pressure uh, line of the air condition. They got a hole in it here. So maybe that'll get us going. We found a hole in this, uh, well, my son found a hole in this line here where it had rubbed the air conditioner and rubbed a hole in the hit. So what about this right here? That's a hundred grit right there. We might, uh, the old saying is, kill two two birds with one stone. That might have been why the air conditioner, they wasn't working hit, so all the free on got lost out. So we're gonna clean, we're gonna clean this spot on this line right here where it rubbed a hole in it. And we're gonna, we're gonna touch, do some silver soldering on it. Get it to quit leaking. It's a good brisk, Windy day here in Alabama today. It's, uh, woke up this morning. It was probably in the uh, what was it? In the upper twenties? Or yeah, uh, it was I pretty was cold this morning. And twenty eight or something like yeah. that. But it's pretty rough. Yeah, we didn't know if we was gonna do anything outside today, and uh, we're gonna try to get some breaks up on this thing today. We'd like to, and uh, cause without breaks, it's hard to move one around. So. Yeah, that's... We definitely want to, uh, we want to be able to move it around. We typically need brakes. We've got several other uh, things to work on, but we got to do the main important thing first. We've got to get the brakes up on it, so one of the problems, we'll have to run back to the house real quick. And we got her good and clean. So you a took a little hundred grit it. right here and got that some of that corrosion off of it yep i think we'll clean it up well we'll we'll go do some silver soldering on this thing so y'all stay with us and uh we'll be back here in just a little bit and uh when we get over yeah. there we'll show you a little bit what we're gonna do and 
Well, minute, minute, I'll let you go do that, and I'm gonna work on a few things here. And two, uh, I'm gonna try to rustle up some grub for later on. Okay. I gotta, I gotta be able to feed you. That's Sounds how I pay. As long as we don't want to eat them uh, vine and sausages. No, no vine and sausages here no, at, at my no. place. And beanie weenie, as long as we don't have to. Eat yeah, them again that's right. Well, the old minute man, he's uh, he's off to do some soldering. I'm gonna do what I'm, what I do best, and that's cook and eat, as you can imagine. So let's cook up a little bit of this. So uh, some of his favorite, the um, uh, Rotel Dilt, which I don't think this is a mystery. Everybody probably has made it before, but we're gonna make it with some heart clogging, artery clogging I should say, Tennessee Pride, um, sausage, let me show you how I do it, and there's no mystery here, but just check it out. Alright, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up, just do a little slit right here. Yeah, so she's starting to cook a little bit, so here we go. Let's go ahead and chop some of this up. Yeah, it's getting there now. And while that's doing that, let's do this. You know, the old Velveeta, you know. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and, uh, might as well go ahead and get this Velveeta melting. Uh, so, nothing, nothing special here. It's just the white, the queso, blanco, some fancy words. Simple, simple. Yeah, nothing special here. Break it up in little chunks. Uh, what I'm about to do right here. Three birds with one stone, look at there. Well, there's the old sausage just to cooking over here. And now, we're gonna come over here to the pot. Simply just throw that off in there, right there. Let's get a little bit of heavy whipping cream in there. Let this stuff be slowly melting. Look at her. Slowly melting. As you can see, I didn't go high with it at all. So, well, uh, maybe two and a half. All right. Hey, it's the mechanic and I'm the cook. Or the minute man. I'm sure he's already got that done. He'll be back over here for all of this is so, uh, completed. I can assure you that. Let's go check in on him right now. All right, we got the little piece over here at the shop. We're gonna do a little silver soldering on this uh, line. Fix that place where it rubbed. We're gonna give it a shot. If it don't work, we got another line we can use. But well, we're gonna try it, you see? All right, we got that, we'll let it cool. And then we'll look and see if we got it or not. Sometimes you can fix them pretty easy and sometimes you can't. But maybe, maybe we got that one. Hope so anyway. But we're going to take that other line with us when we go and, uh, and go ahead and uh, just in case that don't work, I got one that come off this uh, 76 here. Uh, maybe I can get it focused on it. Yeah, it's this one right here. This line here. It come off the one we're working on. Uh, it's in good shape. Uh, just going to need to clean it up a little bit. But uh, we're going to take it loose from this portional valve and uh, carry it with us just in case that one don't hold. So 
we'll have a backup. All right, stay with us. My wife believes in this stuff, this heavy whipping cream. We're gonna put some in this bad boy over here. And I'm doing all this one hand while I'm holding the camera. Come on over here. Let's just cover the bottom. And there it is. Better not use it all. She puts that in her coffee. That's enough probably for about two more cups left in there. So honey, don't get mad at me. Maybe there's some extra in the other refrigerator. We'll check it out later on. Yeah, finally melting up here as you can see. Looking pretty good. And also got the sausage. Uh, it's ready. It just needs to be uh, drained. Get the fat off of it. Make it a little healthier <laughs> if it's even possible. And we'll be assembling these two together with the Rotel. Stay tuned. Oh yeah. As you can see, I got the sausage and the cheese together now. Let's go ahead and get that Rotel in there and I think this job will be complete. Got a little mild right there. And she goes right in. I put juice and all. But this is a little on the thick side, so it needs a little thinning down. So let's stir that up. Oh, that's looking good. Well, I got a good seasoned pan here. We need to go ahead and uh, take advantage of it. We're gonna we're gonna use it to kind of brown up our hot dogs. Got the old good Angus right here from Oscar Myers. In my opinion, probably some of the best hot dogs. Well, let's let's go ahead and fix it up. After I get it open, of course, throw these bad boys right on in here. We'll have these uh, mighty yummy here pretty soon. You can, if you want to, take it to the next level with the old Tony Saturis Creo. Just a little bit over the, like that, and let those uh, fry in there together, and before you know it, it'll be really seasoned up. Let's try it out. Starting to sizzle a little bit, y'all. Yeah, just keep working them back and forth. Best twenty dollars I ever spent right here at Walmart. This little toaster. Now it's nasty looking, but it gets heavily used. Now I've had this for about two years, so I would dare say it's very rare that you can spend that least amount of money and get that much use out of. But here it is. The Great Value brand. Nothing like. It. Man, the Minute Man's going. I'm, he'll have to do a lot of work to, to pay me back for all this food. But anyway, let's toast these bad boys on up. Oh yeah, this is going to be good, y'all. That thing, steer it on up. We don't want it burning. Got it on real low. Oh, Minute Man should be getting back any time. Oh yeah. I believe that's it. That. Go ahead and get them in there. Oh, minute man. Back. He's back. Well, how'd it go? The old man we had over there come off the other one. I said, well, I'm going to carry it back just in case that line don't hold. But, uh, anyway, we got it. Well, that's the one we got. I believe you got it. I believe you, I believe you got it silvered, uh, soldered up pretty yeah. good. There's the old line. It's got a little out of shape, but I mean, you have to use it. No, I believe it's still good. I'm not oh, seeing boy. any problem with this line. I only had a piece about eight inches long. I need to get some more of that silver solder. But it really needs to be in a, in a sealed container because of uh, dampness. You know, messes it up. Yeah. You know? 
I believe we're gonna have it going. I'm, I, I, I cleaned it back a little bit to make sure here to uh, got it. It it looks it looks like I pretty much got it all, but you know we can't be for sure till we get some pressure on it. Well, let's go in here and eat this stuff real quick. We'll get back out. We'll be fueled up and we're ready to go at it. We're back now. We're going to try to get this get our line back on. That little rack is hard to get started. We got her though. The wind's blowing now. Hope we don't blow the camera over. Size, it? It's probably wore through. There's some wire, wire braiding in there too, but we'd have to take it loose and uh, and put some pressure on it and see, you know. If I had me a cat and was wanting a flat, guess what? Yeah. The wind would lay down. Wouldn't be nothing. Maybe we should bring the cat out. I got one in the. Yeah, we're dragging the cat out. All right, we're ready to do some bleeding on the brakes. Well, I gotta get in there and pump them, I guess. He's going to get under here and we're going to try to break this, uh... Yeah, I got it broke loose. I tightened it back up. Got it tightened waiting. back up. Yeah. Go ahead and pump it. Yeah. Pump it up. Yeah. 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 Well, folks, this pumping the brakes went on for several minutes, and we were not able to get any fluid to any of the calipers or rear wheel cylinders. And we surely thought we'd found the problem when we found that line with the hole in it. But unfortunately, we had a new unknown problem that had just creeped up on us. Dad decided we should just go ahead and replace the calipers and rear wheel cylinders, pads and shoes, you know the deal, a full brake overhaul. Of course, not being the original owners, we, we didn't know when the last time this had been done, or if ever. Well, anyway, it's just money, right? Kind of jumped ahead of you here on the video, but uh, didn't have the camera ready. You can blame me for it. And the uh, he done put a new caliber on the driver's side here. Uh, got some new brake pads also. Ain't no grass growing under your feet, is it, the minute man? Well, you got both calibers on. I just noticed that. When I'm making $50 an hour, you know I got to go. $50 an hour? Yeah. Okay. I don't know where he's going to get that from. I got to figure out who my boss man is. I ain't seen no yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, not only did he do the driver's side, but got the passenger side, too. He ain't missed around. I probably would have got them rotors turned, but I guess they're all, they'll be all right. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll bleed these if you want to. We we'll better do it quickly. I need to crank my old truck up, I guess. But anyway, yeah, we're going to... We'll see if you can get some fluid. Right, well, yeah. here I am pumping the old brakes again. Trying to see if we can get fluid to these new calipers. Let's we'll see what happens. Are you getting fluid? I ain't getting anything yet. Looks like we're not going to catch a break here. We may wind up having well, what a crying shame after putting new calibers on. Looking like we're going to have... Right, we're just about to, right down to having to change everything out here. We, looking at these lines right here. Most likely the lines are collapsed inside. and Ain't getting no fluid. You're getting fluid up to here, but not down in the line. And of course, naturally, you're not getting it at the bleeder plug right here. So, looking like we're going to have to order some lines. I guess we should have bought all that stuff new anyway. We're about 
got everything completely replaced that is true also for the uh, passenger side right here well we, at least we got the good uh, brake line stick oh yeah car quest our local hollow parts store here we're gonna go ahead and try to change these out this morning and hopefully we can get some brakes up here on the front and uh you gotta have brakes when you go down the road I mean, that's just a necessity, wouldn't you agree? Well, it's supposed to, it's supposed to that's pull out. like a dummy. I don't think so. You can get in there anytime you want to. What do you need? Or maybe you could test drive me in this truck. I don't know if it's it's pulling out on. I thought the little clip was on the thing, hold it in. In that square. Just sit right here. Just sit. This is what kids used to do back when the when they were back in the fifties when there wasn't no Nintendo's and and there wasn't no internet. This is how they entertained themselves. Show them. I wore an old car out rolling around. Da no Daddy said he put a hundred thousand miles on one one time. <laughs> <laughs> he had to get it realigned. <laughs> you had to get a new alignment, didn't you, Daddy? Show them right there. We got you on the YouTube video right here on the J&J &J Backwoods shop. T hey, what should they do, Jay? What should they do? Play, play. No, when you come to our, our channel, what should they do? Play with tires. How about like and subscribe? Yeah. Well, I better get back over here with the minute, man. He's, uh, he's definitely, he's on the ball this morning. We'll have two brand new lines and a jiffy. Ooh, it's mighty cold over here in Alabama this morning. What what do you say? It was 28. What 23 old house. 23. Yeah, and two, we had a wind yesterday whipping. And uh I guess people if you're up north listening to this, you'd probably think, hey, this is a summer day down here. <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna tell you something, when you ain't used you used to 110 degrees in high humidity, where the, the air you feel like you're swimming. Then this right here is murderous to us, right? Oh, yeah. We'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. I think we've done pretty good on the little soldering, don't you? Oh, I think you did too, because... Uh, uh, I never did leak no I never... Uh, that line is... Uh, I didn't see it leaking no more. I, I believe you did a good job on that old line right there. Well, anyway. Uh, so we already got our, we got our lines back on, and we're going to... He's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna get in here and pump it up, and we're gonna see if we get some of that flood shooting out of that bleeder plug there. I hold that. All right, crank it up and do it. Right. Hold it. I, hold it. I'm holding it. Apparently, apparently the master cylinder ain't even moving. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You'll have to let it warm up because this thing's so. Never uh -oh. start. Never start. Hold up just a minute. We're getting flood out good now. No more air in it, but they they ain't the, they're not they're not actually uh, pushing the calibers out. Now we're looking at potentially the lines wouldn't bad. Now it's potentially a bad match. So could we not pull the other one off and compare it to that one? Yeah, we can. It looks like to be about same depth as other. Just looking at. It. I mean, you did talk about the but, but now I have bought brand, uh, a brand new master cylinder and they'd be bad. Brand new master cylinder being bad. Yeah. Well, here we are.
taking off the new master cylinder. Uh, and the old Minute Man is suspecting that we might have a bad new master cylinder. He said it wasn't something that he hadn't seen before. So we're going to go ahead and take it off and let's just see what happens here. Look, get a picture of that. That's Western. That made by Wizard, Western Auto. I don't really know if Western Auto, I don't think Western Auto is in business anymore. I don't know if they are either. But so you know, that makes some good old tools. All right, this is a pretty good ratchet. ratchet. That's a. That's I might a be the last time. That might be the last time I see it. <laughs> <laughs> you may not get to see it. Though. That's right. Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with this booster. Crank it up, pump it up. Crank it up. Those, those blood all the way to the back of the truck back there. Blood off on it, pump it up again, about three licks and hold it down. I right, hold it down. I'd do it again. Alright, one more time. Alright, we're getting brakes now, so uh, that's what our problem was. We got a bad master cylinder. It was a brand new one. We didn't get a rebuilt one. And uh But anyway, we're uh we're gonna put the wheels back on and we're gonna let this thing down and turn it around. So we're going to go ahead and get the rear pieces are got to be used on them. Yeah. May not be that easy, though, you know. Well, well. I'm having a hard time getting that brake line to start. Let's see if little Jay can get it. Not being easy, is it? Mm -hmm. Well, I've done been wrestling with all that stuff for a little bit of time. I've come to determine that this ain't this ain't going. Mm -hmm. All right, anyhow. Little Jay couldn't get it either. We finally had discovered that the brake line had been cross-threaded. Well. I guess we'll have to get a replacement line for that driver's side. Well, good evening, 
YouTubers. We are back on the 76 again today. We had a brake line the last time we was working on it. It was giving us a lot of trouble. And uh, anyway, we took we had one on it and uh somebody cross threaded it. So anyway, we fixing to put another one on it here. Stay with us here. Believe it or not, there. Thank the Lord we got it. You got that one in. Start on hit, put some brake, change the wheel cylinder. down a little bit. put to you. I found it easy to put these uh, adjusters on and before we put everything back together so we're gonna try it this way. Took a little longer on the other one so anyway we'll give it a shot and see if it's any different. The long, long side over on this side so, short side goes to the front of the truck, and the long side goes to the back. So anyway, our old adjuster seems to be free. That's good. Yes, sir. And different people do it different ways. I mean, hey, you ain't got to... Uh, you ain't got to do it this way, but uh, I, I decided what I'd do is I'd try it this way, and uh, so I've got to, I've got everything back on it like it goes right there now. It's back on the new brake shoes, so all I got to do is put my uh, Mercy brake arm back on put the clip back on it so but anyway, we're gonna give it a shot that way we're gonna change the wheel cylinder now so put us a, put us a new wheel cylinder on there so we, actually we changed everything all uh, calibers wheel cylinders master cylinder which the master cylinder was bad we're gonna got a new one coming for hit so we're gonna replace it but anyway all the brakes should be redone and uh, we'll be in good shape. So. Alright, stay with me. I think this brake line come loose okay, but I think we tried it the other day. It seemed to do good, so we're going to not have the trouble we had on the other side. Somebody cross-threaded the other side and uh, messed the threads up on our line, brake line, so we had to put another one on it. We had an extra one at the house. And uh, off our other 76. So we took, just took it off a of hit. And uh, 
and replaced it. Oh, baby was tight. The old rear end seems real good. I ain't got a whole lot of slack in my ring gear and pinion. It's pretty doggone tight. I don't got don't, don't see no leakage uh, up around the pinion. The pinion looks dry. And also around the uh, axle seals. We don't look like we got no uh, leakage, so that's hey, that's a good sign. So brand new wheel cylinder we're gonna put on. Putting these things in. Oh, we'll try to set it in there and watch your line and set your line back in the hole. Make it start a lot better. Get my line back in the hole just a little bit. There we go. She jumped in there then. Couldn't get my screw started, it was at an angle. Put her pins back in there. All right. piece jumped out. All right, we're back. I didn't want to be stubborn, but we uh, we finally got it. We got her back on there. We're going to put the hub, hub back on it and adjust the brakes up on it. Hopefully, this is going to do the trick. I have to readjust them. I would run it a little bit. All right, I'm gonna put the wheel back on. Cure of that little problem. We gotta bleed the brakes. I'll have to wait till my son helps me tomorrow. So we're gonna and we're gonna call it a night. Till tomorrow we'll work on it tomorrow. Lord's willing. Appreciate y'all watching. Hey, if you like these old Ford trucks, that's all we've been working on mostly. Anyway. Just subscribe to the channel and then the next next one comes up you know you'll be notified but we appreciate y'all watching watching tonight y'all have a good uh it's getting about getting dark here in alabama y'all have a good night thank you